Hey, what's up guys? We are back and we're back with something a little bit different uh, for this holiday installment. Now, uh, over the Christmas break, I was lucky enough to pick up a uh, Tesla Model 3 dual motor that you see behind me. So what we're going to be getting into today is we're actually going to install the 50 amp circuit that we need to get a, a quicker charge on this. I think by the time we're done, we should be able to get a zero to full charge in about seven hours is the estimate or my guesstimate at this point. So we'll figure it out. But uh, like I said, we're not going to be touching the car. We're going to be messing with the electricity. So I'll go ahead and show you what we're going to do. Now the M3 is still with us. Don't be worried that that went anywhere. But basically we're going to come over here by the car and we're going to be putting the circuit here in this white wall here. So what we're going to do, my basement's a little bit right beneath us for the most part. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a, um, we're going to pull the cable up through a little window here install another one above. Um, when you're doing this, try and cut your hole up against um, a stud so that you can get some additional support by mounting uh, this, this, the box that the outlet's ultimately gonna go into. You can get a little bit more support on that uh, when plugging it and unplugging it. So we're gonna make sure we install it against there. Uh, and afterwards, we'll have to do a little bit of drywall work to clean it up. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so what we're looking at right now are the parts we're going to need to get this 50 amp line in for the Tesla. So we've got our 50 amp breaker. We've got our uh, NEMA 1450R with the ground up, our plate, our drywall box, and then we've got 40 feet of 6.3 uh, cable here, which is a 6 gauge. And you've got three copper pieces inside of this, and then the ground sitting in there. Should be able to see that. There it is. So we got our hole drilled down in the basement where we're ultimately going to be running this. Kind of see a little bit of light coming up. All right, so here's the two panels we're working with in the house. So we're going to be pulling 50 off the one to the right. I'm going to run it up following the same cable pattern you see here. Excuse the light glare. Bring it down there. And then we're going to be coming all the way over here. We've already set a little pilot and we've drilled the hole so we're going to be fishing the cable right now. You can see the hole right there that we cut in. Alright, so we got it started there. Alright, so here's the box that we're going to use. This is going to slide into this little opening we've cut right there and then ultimately Here's our receptacle, just like that. All right, so just remove the shielding from the wire we just ran up. See, it came up from the basement here behind the drywall and out where our box will be installed. All right, we got all our wires stripped off. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our plug. All right, we got our uh, plug wired up here. Uh, really important, make sure that your ground is at the top here. If your ground isn't installed at the top, then your Tesla plug is going to be installed like this. And that's not what you want. You just want it hanging down like that. All right, so what we're doing now is fishing the cable back to the breaker box. So we've got it coming in from the garage there. You see that black cable coming across. Sorry about the light glare. It's going across here, over to there. So I've drilled holes along the top here so we can fish that wire all the way back to the breaker. So I've already done that. Fishing this wire is a pain in the ass. It's pretty rigid and heavy, um, but you know, we get it done. So you're just gonna come all the way down here and you'll see it's hanging out, ready to get hooked up right here. 
There's the end somewhere, somewhere down there. Anyway, so we're putting it in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie wrap that up, clean up the installation, and then get the breaker set up. We should be good to go. All right, so we got our 50 amp breaker in. We've got our uh, red and black right here. We've installed our neutral line is right there. A big fat one right there. And we're ground into the background. And all the red, the black, the ground, the white neutral all comes up the line and out the top into this black one that we ran earlier. All right, so we're just gonna capture our volts on the meter here that we're done, and we're right about at 240, 239. If we move it around enough, we'll hit 240. All right, so we've mounted our plug, and really the only thing we have left to do is put our cover on. So we're gonna put the cover on, fire it up, see how it goes. And there we go, we're plated. All right, so we've put on our new wall connector onto our mobile charger. And we're gonna plug it in and see how it goes. Let's see. Well, we at least have light there. Let's hook it up to the car and see what kind of amps we're pulling now. All right, so we started to charge, and as you can see, we are now pulling 32 amps. We've doubled our voltage, and we're now pulling, uh, right now it's reading 28 miles of range per hour. That's hopping up, like it just hopped to 29 every now and again. That'll clip 30 as well. Um, so that's nearly uh, six times the charge rate. Prior to this, we were only getting five miles uh, to the hour at I believe it was five amps is what it was charging at so now we're looking pretty good and we're gonna get this thing charged up much quicker than before alright guys that's a wrap we got the line in we're charging much faster which I'm really happy about um, now just really quick I wanted to point out the cost of materials to do this job was just shy of $200 uh, most of that's wrapped up in the cabling uh, depending on how far away you are from your box uh, will influence you know the end result if you're much further you know, I bought 40 feet of cable, so if you're looking at 80 feet of cable, you're going to be, you know, roughly doubling that, less the cost of the breaker in the box, uh, drywall box, which really wasn't that much. Now, depending on where you live, uh, you might be able to get some rebate back on that. Now, I live in Maryland, and they offer 40% back up to $700, uh, so we'll be submitting that uh, for next year and get those few bucks back. Uh, so really, in the end, it didn't cost that much, and I think we're going to get a lot of use out of it. So I hope somebody out there found it at least uh, useful or maybe even entertaining. If so, please click on that subscribe button and hit like. Talk to you guys later. Bye.